Hi, I'm Carrie. I'm Jeremy. We are the Travel with Kids Parents. Today we're going to be taking a look at Cabo San Lucas, Mexico on the Baja Peninsula. It's the 50th anniversary of the Baja 1000 this weekend and we have a friend, Johnny V, go cow track, who's entered a truck in it this weekend. So we were thinking back to our own experiences in Baja. We took the kids down there a couple years ago and rode around in dune buggies, not quite the same as what they're going to experience. I don't think so. But uh, it kind of gives you a feel of what it's like to track around the desert and uh, go see some, uh, some, some great adventure activities, different things that families can experience even if you don't have kids. Cabo San Lucas is obviously a great destination to explore. Be on its side, they'll always be on its head or on its wheels. It's incredible. And this will not bend and it will not break. Perfect. Now you hold on to these straps, okay? So all you gotta do is hold on to those straps here, okay? And then I can put that on the top. I'm a doctor! Yeah, hopefully we won't need one of those today. If we were in the real Baja 1000, we might actually need a doctor. Did you know that out in the remote areas of the course, pranksters build traps, like booby traps, like big jumps or dips, and then they all watch the trucks come around. We're heading out in these Tom cars on a four-wheel drive adventure with Jamie at Green Zebra Adventures. Let's check out the desert. Jamie says the Tom cars were originally designed for Israeli combat missions, so the steep canyons and sandy washes here are nothing they can't handle. In fact, this area is known for its exciting terrain, and the people around here take their four-wheeling seriously. So seriously, they've made a profession out of it. We're at the tip of the Baja Peninsula, the ending point for the famous race, the Baja 1000. It's a race across the deserted landscapes of the Baja Peninsula through deserts and canyons, off-road race. It's really cool and it ends right here in Cabo San Lucas. Kind of get a feel for what those racers in the Baja 1000 might go through. I guess you don't need to worry about any of those pranksters setting traps. What? I was going fast. Okay, Grandma. We know who drives slow at home. How was that? That was awesome. Now imagine doing that for a couple days all the way from the border of the United States to here. What do you think about that? Maybe later. <laughs> Doesn't look like we're quite cut out for the race, but the ride out to the beach is filled with thrills and heart pumping moments. And the beach here is spectacular. Woo! Bizarre rock formations. I'm gonna go cliff diving. Oh yeah? <laughs> Lots of shells. Look who I just saw. What is this? Here you go. And giant crashing waves. <laughs> you ready? Uh -huh. Back at the starting line, there's a different kind of race going on. He's running really fast. Whoa! The off-road racing isn't the only way to get your thrills in the Baja Desert. And this one is not for the faint of heart or heights. Yeah, I'll pass. You're doing it. <laughs> oh, no. How high are those lines? They're not very high. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I'll eat some tacos in the restaurant. You're well, you it. toss your tacos on those high lines. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh. That was fun. I want to go again. Wild Canyon Adventures has eight zip lines ranging from 164 feet long to one spanning the length of nine football fields, which can be a bit intimidating for younger children. You are going from this spot 2,624 feet across the canyon, 361 feet in the air at 36 miles per hour. That is a long distance. But you can ride in pairs, and Daredevil Nathan is ready to give it a try. Everybody, one, two, three, go. Bye! Like mm, and then he pushed me off and I'm like ah and then and then I was like and then I liked it. I was like 
so far in the air and I was like up there for so long, it kind of felt like I was a bird. Hey, I have another way to explore the desert and it doesn't involve high flying or fast driving. Oh yeah? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. No. Yay, your oh, favorite. Now I'm scared. <laughs> Seriously. Remember my horse was evil? Was it evil? He kicked you. He <laughs> kicked me. <laughs> he kicked you. <laughs> He's ornery, just like his rider. <laughs> yeah. Go. Horses can be rented all along the beach here, but at Karasuba, they offer a real rancho experience. The kids have fun bonding with the horses. They have long ears. Burrows and goats. Feeding them. Every day, yeah. they give each horse half of this haystack. Alfalfa to feed the horses. And having a chat with them. How do you stand these flies on you? Before we hit the trail, the kids race off down a path <laughs> that winds through amazing desert scenery. And then out onto the beach, where the kids have fun surfing the sand cliffs. The perfect sand cliff follies, as the kids call them. And watching whales breach into the Pacific beyond. Then it's back to the ranch. Riding on the beach is really fun. I only know why cowboys walk like this. So the beaches between San Jose del Cabo and Cabo San Lucas are lined with upscale resorts. Really nice area. The beaches are really nice, although the water does get a little rough. Then in between there, if you keep going, what would that be, west? You keep going west, you hit Old Town Cabo. The Cabo San Lucas is Old Town, which has taco restaurants, lots of shops and markets. There's ATMs, you can get money out of the machine if you wanna go out and shop, you get pesos out of the machine, it's really easy. Um, and then along on the other side, west of that, on the other side of the peninsula are more upscale resorts, although the water over there can get really choppy. Cabo San Lucas is a great destination for kids and families, even if you don't have kids, it's a great place to visit. Beyond the deserts and the desert activities, there's plenty of ocean activities and the beaches are amazing. Don't forget, sometimes the beaches uh, up north of town, the waves are gigantic and can get a little rough. There's some really nice resorts over there, but the beaches, sometimes the ocean is not swimmable, so you might want to... Even for adults. Even for adults, yeah. The, the waves are just gigantic coming off the Pacific Ocean. So make sure you do your research uh, to select the right resort to stay in with the kids. Further in town is Mendano Beach, which is actually right near the marina, and that's one of our favorites. Uh, it's, the, it's very sheltered, so the water is calm, you can swim, the kids can swim. There's a ton of activity there. There's restaurants, bars, all kinds of uh, little shrimp taco, taco stands and that kind of thing. And the fishermen will come up, offer you a ride out to El Arco, that's the natural arch. For like 10 bucks, you can spend a half an hour putting up and down the coast, they'll take you right out to the arch. Cool, and there's beaches and rocks. Other boats, you can maybe make some diving friends. We recommend if you're staying in one of the nice resorts that's kind of out of town, is to definitely get in town and really experience some of the local culture. So now we've explored a lot of the deserts around Cabo, and next time we are going to hit the water. We're going to check out the beaches and the ocean. Whale watching, scuba diving. So if you want to see more, remember you got to subscribe so you get notified when the next video comes out. So subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot of great new content coming your way. We're going to be taking a deeper look into some of our old shows. Um, the kids are going to give some of their personal experiences on a lot of the trips we've been on the last few years. So be sure to check us out here at Travel with Kids TV. Thanks. <laughs>